Hey guys, I've got an exciting new feature to show you. In an attempt to make non-seamless transfer appear a little more seamless, I've modified my open world server system so that zone servers share player location information with surrounding zones. What this does is let you see players on other servers. Let's take a look at how you could set this up. <clears throat> if you lay out your zones uh, in a grid pattern, you might set up volumes like this, where this volume here, anytime a player entered it, it would sync their location to zone two. And here on the corner, it would sync the location to two, three, and six, meaning that if a player were in two, zone two, zone three, or zone six, they would be seeing a proxy player loaded in place of that character, and it would appear to them as if they're seeing across the zone boundaries. You could also lay it out like this, which is often what I do, is that you could have zones inside of zones. There's no rules saying that zones have to be laid out uh, in a grid pattern. <clears throat> and so in this case, it would sync from the in outside of the city to the inside, or from the inside to the outside. Let's take a look at how this works. So I've started up uh, two zones here. I've got zone one and zone two loaded on world server six. They're running on port 7778 and 7779. This one here is zone one. This one is zone two. And I've loaded up two clients, Dart 9 and Dart 7. Let's load into game. OK, uh, Dart 9 is loaded on zone two. And Dart 7 is going to load into zone 1. Now for this uh, demo here, I placed it a fairly small distance uh, from the zone boundary. I set the volume fairly small just to show you what happens that when the player enters the volume, they spawn a proxy on the other side. And when they leave the volume, they despawn. You can set that uh, to whatever size you want and tune that for performance. You can see that as my character is moving here, Dart 7 is moving on Zone 1. Dart 9 on Zone 2, a completely different server, is seeing the character move. What's happening is that a proxy is created in place on Zone 2, and it is receiving messages directly, not through the management server, which would be too slow, but it's receiving messages directly to tell it what location to move to, and an AI is making those moves. And we can even cross the boundaries here. And here we did. Now we ran into zone two. And now we're going to run back to zone one. There you go. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.